could there be a breakthrough in preventing diabetes? Tonight, we'll tell you about the one which uh, vitamin D, which could help when in focus returns. Could vitamin D be the next breakthrough in preventing diabetes? Dr. Adeline Ghazi, she's an endocrinologist with the MedStar Good Samaritan Hospital. You to join us. Thank you. Yes. Talk about this topic. Thank you for having me here. As you all know, tomorrow is Diabetes Alert Day. And according to our most recent statistics from the Center for, Di for Disease Control, mm -hmm. more and more people have diabetes. And more and more people are at increased risk of diabetes, which is a very serious disease. Currently, about 29 million people, or adult Americans, have diabetes, which is 3 million more than what it was in 2011. Diet related, you think? It's a combination. It's partly genetics. Mm -hmm. So if you have family history, that's a, that's a risk factor. But also, of course, diet, exercise, all that weighs in. Mm -hmm. It's not just one, one uh, factor. Talk to me about this vitamin D in this study. So this is very interesting, actually. There's recent research that shows that vitamin D can work in different mechanisms in the body to lower the blood sugar, regulate the blood sugar. It could improve our body's response to the insulin that we produce by reducing inflammation, for example. It can also even perhaps help us produce more insulin. So this study has been done in animals, and it's been shown that vitamin D is actually playing a role in blood sugar control. So we're looking at clinical trials at this point? So yes, yeah, so because the information that we have is mainly animal studies, and it's also uh, studies that show that people who have low vitamin D levels are, at, or could, are more likely to develop diabetes. We're trying to see if actually giving them vitamin D can help prevent that. Mm -hmm. And this is a clinical trial, it's called D2D study. We are uh, MedStar Health Research Institute. We're one of over 20 clinical sites in the country that is undergoing this trial. We're trying to involve 2,400 participants mm -hmm. who are at increased risk of diabetes, or in other words, have pre-diabetes. We're trying to see if giving them vitamin D at a dose that's a little bit higher than what you would normally buy over the counter can help prevent diabetes down the line. And it's a study that's gonna go over the next four years and it's going to help generate this really important information. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Dr. Ghazi, thank you very much for that information. We'll also have it up on our website for more people looking for, for participants you. in the clinical trial. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.